So that's all the uprights on this side, bar the very end, which is where two sides meet. So it's like a really awkward corner piece, which I'm gonna spend a bit of time getting right. I could kind of cheat, but there's only two to do in the whole roof. So we may as well get all the angles really nice and snug, you know? Yeah, we're getting a roof. This fits first time. I will be gobsmacked. Look, I'm su as surprised as you that I got that up in the first cut. Summer's going on here. So I'm tacking everything in with screws, just the minimal amount I need just to pull everything together and keep it stable. Hopefully, hopefully, the framing nail gun arrives tomorrow, and then after that, I'll be re-going over everything with nails just to make everything super, super secure. But, one little bit of wood left to do. The reason this was tricky is because the angle from the base and connect it to the top is two different angles. It's not on the same face, if that makes any sense. But it means that it's sloping outwards with this side of the roof and you can see the profile now here. Oh, one tiny bit of wood to go in here. Oh, you beauty. Yeah, I know for you it just looks like loads of wood all together. I mean, it is loads of wood all together, but here is actually where one of the dormer windows will go. So it's exactly above all the other windows in the chateau, and this is where it was originally. So the framing is here, there's a gap here, even though I'm not putting it in yet. I've put these chevron uprights here so we can just roof the whole thing with no holes in it but later on the frame is here ready to put a dormer when we're ready for it this is braced now with a through brace which is really quite a traditional way kind of it looks like one long brace but it's split up you know on all the uprights um, these even though it looks like there's a lot of wood here this and this are the only structural ones in this span and these ones in the middle are more really just to capture the boards whether it be plaster boards or OSB boards later is to capture all them edges so there's not you know like like normal stud work
So I've just got to brace this other side and that's pretty much that ready to go by a few little faffy bits. So tomorrow Nick's going to be here and we're going to look at doing this side. So the channel's going to be filled with plaster and the beams are going to be set in it. Which will then allow me to put the slope on that side and then we've got one side to go. And then it's the whole apex, the A-frames. That bit is going to be complicated, but I think it's going to be fun to watch. It's definitely going to be fun to do because it's a lot more of a traditional style. <sighs> All right, we didn't have a roof for Christmas, but it really ain't going to be that far after. Anyway, I know a lot of you, this is what I wanted to say. Um, I know that a lot of you have had an email about the ornaments. Um, a lot of them were posted well, let's say quite late, and I'm sorry about that, but I was just posting a few a day in between kind of renovating and editing the vlog. I really underestimated the demand and how long it was going to take, but they have all been sent. But I know that a good amount of you have had a PayPal refund. If you have, I don't know how we sort all that out, but your items been sent... If you want to put a little donation on Buy Me A Coffee instead, then do that but if not enjoy your gift and i will see you all with nick for the second side tomorrow